I've been speaking to a lot of people on this podcast and somehow they always seem to talk about you. Me? Oh, God. Which I found... <laughs> so if from my perspective, I've sort of been on this this journey of talking to people and then, you know, they're, they're mentioning you a lot and, and, and how you've influenced them. And then finally, I'm here to speak to you. What, what, what do you think people have been saying about you? Some of it's funny, actually. What, what, what do you think people say about you when, when people say your name? Um, so, I mean, when I was younger, um, it was usually quite negative things. Um, when I first started my YouTube channel, um, girls at my school were not particularly lovely. And there are still people, mm. the, the school next door was even worse. Um, but there are still people who aren't very nice about me. But most of the time now, especially now I do study videos rather than like beauty, um, it's actually really lovely because people are like, oh, you really helped me get an A in this exam or you helped me like revise or you helped me pick a university. And I don't think I actually deep sometimes that I've probably indirectly had an influence on like a lot of people's lives, which is really, really cool. Um, But that's, that's why like I hate the word influencer. Like I hate it to the passion, but I don't feel as, like uncomfortable saying it as I used to because I feel like I probably do influence people through my videos somehow so oh no you really do I will try and avoid saying the word influencer from here on out (laughs) I just I just just, it's it's not as bad as content creator I really don't like that either but I just find influencer like just really like I don't know just annoying it's a bit self-absorbed I yeah suppose. it's like look at me like i'm influencing yeah. everybody i just i don't know not my not my cup of tea <laughs> no um so to give you a bit of context about like what people were saying on the podcast that i spoke to and you'll hear about it if you listen to them um live rook especially was just singing your praises quite a lot um you know you given her advice about you know having your off days that's the one thing that she's taken you know it's okay to have an off day uh, and you know because she looks up to you as someone who's like so on it and you are like so productive so on it you know you, you you're the kind of person who exhumes sort of having your life put together and and I'm sure for you I'm sure for you that uh, like a lot of people when you look from someone from the outside it appears like that but then when you speak to someone and find out the truth it might not be so clear-cut but for her it's like you're this sort of idol for her and, and and that's what she said i mean would you have, what do you think about that what do you, what do you think about liv saying that well liv is one of my best friends um we we talk about every day and i really look up to liv actually for you know she's been through a lot and she always always you know it's just so strong and so resilient and mm. i actually really admire her i admire her drive i admire everything about her um and so for her to say that is really sweet, but she knows she for she of all people knows that my I'm really everyone thinks that I'm really put together, and I'm not trying to say that I'm not. I am relatively put together, but I I have I'm not like this um, super perfect, super organized like um, person that's productive twenty four seven. No, I'm actually of not. Course not. <laughs> since, since I've got to Germany, I've spent most of my evenings watching Love Island. So I mean, like I've bet I'm not doing barely any. At the moment, I'm doing my internship, and like that's literally it. I'm having like a year yeah. off my life, basically. <laughs> but um, but <laughs> no, so no. Honestly, that's what it feels like. I mean, we can talk about it later, yeah. but it's literally what it feels like. Um, but no, um, I I personally, as much as it's really nice to receive compliments from like subscribers and stuff, hearing it from people yeah. that are really close to you um mm-hmm. is really sweet so live if you're listening because i'll be listening to Liv's podcast then love you oh yeah hers <laughs> was a really fun one i, I loved speaking to her she was so uh, She's inspiring so inspiring so fantastic so interesting and genuinely one of the yeah. kindest people i've ever met so yeah, yeah. We, we did a really good segment, actually, where we, we looked back through all of her, like, most iconic gig shots, um, and she she loved doing that, and she she said afterwards that she loved doing that, so that's one to check out if you want to see one. She's a very, very talented photographer, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I gathered <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> um, but another person who uh, said something funny, which caught me completely off guard, was when I spoke to Jade, and I was playing a game with her where I was, it was like a never have I ever like uni edition thing. And she basically said that you would be the most likely person when a banger comes on in the club to be shouting oi oi whilst like throwing, <laughs> <laughs> whilst like throwing shapes. I sound completely uncool when I say this. And that was the whole reason because, you know, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a particularly like lads person. I don't know if you can tell. Um, so 
the point was to make it look a bit funny and and she said that you would be the most likely person in her opinion to do that in a club and i found that hilarious it caught me off guard what do you think is this jade is in on jada jade yeah yeah to be honest to be honest yeah i mean i would be that sort i am that sort of person like i i love clubbing i do i absolutely love going out i love having a party i love having a drink and i uh, people always say that i am the life of the party in the sense that if there's a banger on like i will be the first on the dance floor being like yeah so so, uh, no absolutely and also i feel like oi oi is quite a midlands thing like where i'm from people are like oh oi oi you know so i feel like yeah that's that's a fair assessment of me to be honest i i I can't (laughs) i would i I was i was hoping to be like oh my god that's so not true but no that is that is actually (laughs) very true so, so I've hit the nail on the head there, sort of. Essentially, to, yeah. Essentially, yeah. honestly, you have, yeah. <laughs> Find it, finding out all the all the top bits. Top gossip. Eve is most likely to be oi oi <laughs> in a in a club, yeah, basically. <laughs> Inside out, like we've all been led astray. We've been standing on the outside and trying to find our friends, like we're all just cast away. Feel like we've been missing out.